Okay, so I hope that you can hear me and I'm in the frame. I've never filmed in here before really like this or set up in this way, but I think it's going to be really fun. Um, first of all, happy Thanksgiving. I did a little announcement on Instagram a few days ago. I explained to you guys how I was going to be handling the setup of videos this week. I feel kind of like I'm just like behind this and I'm not really sure like where to get or what to do or if I should come in front of it. That's too close. I don't know. We'll try this out and next time we might do something different. But I told you guys that since it was Thanksgiving week and I am hosting Thanksgiving at our house uh, on Thursday, I wanted to just do one video this week. I'm going to post this today on Wednesday instead of my usual Monday, Friday posts. So one video this week, but it's okay. I hope that you'll like it. Um, it's going to be all related to things that make me feel really good around the holidays, like home things, things that are super easy to do. My favorite candles, um, little tricks, little like decor things that I think will kind of like just make it easier for you. You don't have to have a huge space. You don't have to have a fancy space. You don't have to be in your like the <laughs> most perfect place to live i have always done this even when you know i was in college and like had a bedroom or when brad and i had our first little place that was teeny tiny and it was just like two rooms and um i'll tell you what it really makes a big difference and i think that the holidays is really just about like feeling and um these things are they're good it kind of like sets the mood and um and it's really some of my favorite stuff. So, okay, these batteries are here. Like I said, you got, like, look, this sweater. I am hosting Thanksgiving this week. That's another story. Oh my gosh, I don't even know how. Sometimes I question this. Okay, I'm getting off on a tangent, whatever. But when people, like, oh, well, then make a video on how you do Thanksgiving. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Like, let me do all this, host Thanksgiving, which I've done before. I've done that many times. But like, let me do this and let me also plan a video around that. Like, n t that would be like twice as hard. So I feel like I'm like coming over this to like talk to you. Um, like I feel like I need to get like closer to the camera. Okay, whatever. I don't know. So we're going to get into it. Um, oh, there's a drink I want to show you guys. I'll get it out in a minute. Uh, but, but yeah, okay. So yeah, so we're rolling right along with the holiday videos. My last one was a holiday gift guide. This is going to be like favorite holiday things like home stuff and then my next video you guys is going to be a big one. It's going to be my holiday home decor tour. I'm going to show you guys so many new things. Um, you'll get the peak of like some new regular kind of things that are going on in the house which I think I'm going to do another video on that coming up soon um, because I have not done a decor update in so so long. I used to do decor videos and um Gosh, like when I did my blog, like blog post, all of them. Okay, so anyways, that will come up. And here's the thing. Whenever I've done holiday decor tours in the past, over these 10 years, there have been years that I've skipped them. There have been years that I've just it really enjoyed it. But sometimes it's a little stressful because as I'm filming it, I want to just talk about everything. And, oh, well, let me tell you about this candle. Okay, so that's what this video is. I'm going to talk to you about like some little details. But then when we go around the house in the next video, you'll see like all the big stuff okay so okay let's get going my very first thing i'm like i'm gonna wear this like my hip out because i'm like my biggest thing in my home let's get into it for real biggest biggest thing you can do all these little you know cutesy little things um that i don't know about it's kind of cute i'll talk about that um probably more in the decor video but my biggest thing obviously i love christmas trees I'll show that in a decor video, but when you really, you don't even have to go nuts and like decorate them crazy, like just putting, just, just having a Christmas tree is like so good. You'll see how I decorate mine, like I said, you're going to see it all come together when I do the tour. But if you do not have a lot of money to spend on Christmas ornaments, or you just might have a few but you want your tree to look like really cohesive, like for me, I have really sentimental ornaments. We have five trees. You're going to see them. You guys know I love Christmas trees, is that right? Yes. We love Christmas trees. Brad loves Christmas trees even more than I do, okay, so. I don't really believe in just being like, okay, let's just theme this out and have like nothing personal on it. Like I, I love having personal things, but I can put all of my personal things on a tree and make it look cohesive with a box of ornaments all in the same color. Or if you can't afford that or you don't wanna do that, grab a spool of ribbon, okay? Grab a spool of ribbon. This is a really pretty like glittery 
ribbon, you can make a bow to put at the top, you can take the rest of the ribbon and put it all through the tree. You wouldn't even need ornaments, or like I said, like you could have cute home homemade ornaments, like all kinds of cute little stuff, but then the ornament, or the, um, the ribbon would make it look cohesive. So that's a good tip, and you'll see that on one of my trees where I did ribbon this year. Um, I really like that. So that's a good little tip. It's good, you can use it anywhere, buy some ribbon, it's like a really good bang for your buck. Candles. I am huge on like setting the whole mood with scent. Scent is so sentimental. It like brings you back to certain times if you smell perfume or if you, you know what I mean, right? I mean, it's a thing. And candles are the same. Like when I light my leaves candle, you know, in the fall, it makes, it reminds me of a fall. <laughs> I don't know. Um, when the holidays come around, when I light my, my holiday candles, it's just such a good feeling. It just makes you feel cozy, light a fire, um, that's something else. But, you know, it's just, you don't have to have like a fully decked out, super decorated house to make these things happen. So, candles. Alright, this little dealie right here, I'm gonna, I'll link to like trees and stuff and these little things. You'll see on my decor tour, I love little trees like this and I have a bunch of different types. Put some greenery around a candle and it's good to go. This candle right here is the Nest Holiday Candle, which I talked about in my, gosh, I think I talked about it in a few of my past videos, my gift guide, and, but it comes in a really beautiful box. It's a nice gift. But out of all my candles, I would say this is the best thing for your buck. It smells up your entire house. Our house is kind of, um, like, we've got some, like, really open areas, and, um, it would really, this candle would overpower a very small room. So you've got to keep that in mind when you shop for candles. I like this one here because it kind of goes through and fills up the whole house. So that would be a good option in my foyer. Speaking of, I've got to get the candle in my foyer. I'll be right back. I'm glad I had to go get that because I forgot about these two, these magnolia ones. And we're going to talk about those. Okay, so yeah, this is really strong. It smells like the holidays. It has a hint of orange peel to it, which usually would not appeal to me. But when I'm trying to like describe that scent, it's hard to like pick that up when you're just smelling it, but when you light it, it becomes really apparent. So it's a really good scent to have in your kitchen. It's kind of like pine, a little cinnamony, very spicy, but then it has that orange to it. So if you're looking for just an all around, like all you need holiday candle, that's a really good one. Bath and Body Works never does me wrong. I always, every year, purchase either the, the, um, the Evergreen, which is what this is, or the Fresh Balsam. I didn't want to go overboard because I had a few more. I had that candle too and I thought, but I got the Evergreen this year. They are so beautiful this year. Uh, this one, I'll show you guys in the tour how I kind of have it set up. It's in my foyer. But these are nice. These actually have very good, like people say, scent throw. All these like technical words for like candles. The wax, I feel, burns. I don't want to say quickly, but because it's a three-wick candle, um, the wax gets large around it faster, which is what's going to make it smell up your house faster. Whereas if it just had one little wick in the middle, it would take a long time. You know what I mean? This is perfect. It's not too overpowering. It's a very good, um, fresh, like pine fragrance. And I love the marble tops that they're doing. So pretty. Okay. So evergreens a really good one. I even bought the fresh balsam and wallflowers. Now fresh balsam and the evergreen is very similar. I feel like the fresh balsam is a little stronger. It smells a little more like pine. Um, I don't know. But anyways, what I do with that one is I put that one in wallflowers. I have one in a room like when you first walk into the house, but I don't put too many in my house. I used to put so many wallflowers in my house. For one, I don't like all that scent in the air, but if you just put like, even if you have a really large space, right? Don't feel like you have to put one in every room. Don't do that because then it'll just start smelling together. No one will be able to kind of distinguish the different scents. I put one near the front door, but it's in that living room near the front kind of, so it kind of wafts in. If you walk in that space, it smells. It's just enough to fill up that space. And then I don't put any anywhere else, really. I have one upstairs. Um, oh, I did put one in the family room. But it's a different set. So it kind of like, you know, I don't know. But anyways, I like that. I don't have wallflowers in my house all the time, but I love having the ones that smell like trees during the holidays, especially when you have Christmas trees up. Okay, so Fresh Blossom, the Evergreen's really good. This is a, a scent that I tried. It's called Smoked Birch. Now, I love the marshmallow fireside. It is very sweet, a little smoky. But this one actually is very similar to that, but it's just a little less sweet. It's a good one. And it also has that cool little packaging. Oh my gosh, you guys. I keep remembering ones. I keep remembering different ones. I have to go get them. Um, what's another one? Winter. I didn't really love the packaging on the... I mean, it's cute. It's like a little bear, whatever. I actually, that's pretty. That's actually prettier. 
I always say like, is it pepperminty? Is it spicy? I don't know what it is, but it's good. And I burn it even after Christmas and stuff too. I have a little secret about these candles behind me. Can you see the other one too? I don't know. I have two flanking my sink, but um, we'll talk about that in a minute. So yeah, I would say from Bath and Body Works, those are my go-tos. Just the winter and then a pine scent. Um, I do, like I said, I like the leaves. I mentioned some of those. I know it's not Thanksgiving yet, but when people say, oh, I don't decorate for Christmas before Thanksgiving, to me, it's never really been an issue because Christmas isn't like, okay, Thanksgiving over is over now, it's Christmas. It's kind of like the season, it's a celebration, and I think during November and December, I like to celebrate that holiday, and Thanksgiving isn't, they're not one that has to, like, overlap. You don't know, it's okay. It's, it's okay. And I don't have like Thanksgiving trees or anything where my Christmas trees would be, so it never interferes. The only thing is that my holiday table, like when I do my table for Thanksgiving or for Christmas, I obviously don't do my Christmas stuff during Thanksgiving. Do you know what I'm saying? On the table. Um, like I set up the table, but I don't have like Thanksgiving decorations everywhere anyway. Some people might, I don't do that, so I love to just go ahead and jump into Christmas and decorating. Diptyque has this one. It's not labeled as a holiday candle, but it is called Le Rudel, and it's in this beautiful, you know, I showed this before. This one is kind of clovey, cinnamony, peppery, very spicy. Has that yummy scent of like, you know, a little bit Christmasly spice. So that's a good one to try. And oh my gosh, nothing cozier than this. It's the Faux de Bois by, by Diptyque. This is a wood fire scent that doesn't smell dirty. And it's just the coziest smelling candle on earth. Another one, if you like nest candles, I did try this one recently. It's called Hearth. And this one smells a little dirty. So it has that bit of bit more like smokiness to it, where this is the faux de bois. It's definitely like no mistaking it's a wood fire scent, but it's a little fresh. It smells a little cold, like wintry. I don't know. This one is very masculine. Um, I like this one in our basement. That's where I'm gonna put that, which I'll show you guys our basement too and everything during that. Let me briefly talk about these. So I did pick up these from Target, the Hearth and Hand Magnolia. I grabbed the Sugared Birch and the Balsam and Spice and I couldn't decide between the two. And then I grabbed a few as gifts and I thought, the, at first scent, the Sugared Birch definitely smells better. You can see I've burned mine a whole lot. Um, the, I'll sit up here, the, um, the sugared or the balsam and spice smells a little like fresher, a little like sharper, but not stronger. The sugared birch smells like a sweeter pine. Yeah, I mean sugared birch. I think this one smells better. When you light these, people were like, oh, they don't have any, you know, when I post on Instagram, immediately people were like, how's the scent throw? Everybody's saying that those aren't that great. And to be honest with you, when you first light them, you're not going to smell it like you would a three wick candle or a lot of these that we're used to where it just, you know what I'm saying? Do you see what I mean? Um, you have to wait longer than like 10 minutes or longer than 20 minutes. And I know it's like not a very instant gratification thing, but you really need to burn your candles every time, at least until it reaches the edge. Um, this one I didn't. I, this one I didn't. This one didn't smell as much. It's a, it's a good scent. I think if you were burning it like in a smaller space in here, it's so kind of like open to every, I just couldn't really, I don't know, but it smelled good, but it wasn't like, whoa, that smells really good. Like when I would walk in, like you smell this one, um, or even this one, this one had a very soft sugary scent. So if you're wanting one of them, I would definitely say try the sugared birch. I have not tried any of the other ones that aren't like holiday-ish. I don't even think these were like marketed as holiday candles. They had like regular scents too, so I don't know if they'll always have those or what it's going to be. Um, okay, how many times am I going to walk away and catch my sweater on this? Oh my lord. And I know this is like heavy on candles, but seriously, like I said, the next video is going to be me showing you decor, giving you tips and stuff. I gave you a few in here and we're not done yet. Um, I have some more things to share, but I gotta show you what these guys do. This is so cool. Okay, where's my, yeah. Okay, so watch. I don't even think you can see them like very bright in there, but they're so pretty. I'll turn the lights off. I'll turn the lights off. Right, can you see the little wicks? They're like dancing around, like you just turn them, you just turn them off. They're remote controlled. You can put them like up on a bookshelf. They're these like just perfect candles. They have a remote. I'll link to those. Those are genius. The wick dances around. It looks real. 
Because, I mean, I get it. Like, not everyone loves candles. Not everyone wants to do that. I don't know. But that's just like an ambiance thing. It's just so, so cute. Um, it is dark outside, too. So, this is weird. I know. This whole video, we'll just see what happens. Holiday movies. I could go on. I mean... Everybody has like kind of the same recommendations. Like there's just certain holiday movies that are classic, that are funny, that remind you of the holidays. We all know. But here's the thing. There is one movie I can watch any time of year and it makes me feel so happy, so cozy, so homey. These this movie is such like a home oriented like okay, I'm talking about the holiday. It's my favorite. I talk about it every year. But it's the one with, you know, with Cameron Diaz and Jude Law and um, Kate Winslet. <sighs> Cameron Diaz's house, Kate Winslet's house, everybody. That whole movie is just, it's everything to me. I love it so much. I'm going to watch it tonight with some apple cider. No, I don't know. Um, but let me just tell you, it's like my favorite movie. It's so good. You can watch that and it just makes you feel homey and it's not like a movie that's about Christmas or about you know it doesn't have to be but it just makes me feel cozy and homey so the holiday even though it's kind of like a year-round movie you could appreciate anytime it's just that feel it's just that hominess something else I'm not a big coffee drinker like a hot beverage drinker I would say not even like hot teas or anything but every year you guys I wear these out. The um, the hot apple cider that you can get for your Keur for your Keurig is just my favorite. Um, oh my gosh, I love those so much. I'm gonna make me some here in a minute. Um, I should have had some to be like a sipping during the video to like prove to you that I like it. Let me show you this too. Okay, I'm like over here in the just the whole side that nobody ever sees in videos. I don't know. Um, because junk's always over there. That's where I like keep all the junk. No, I'm joking. So in a recent video, I told you guys about these the pumpkin spice latte that you can buy in the grocery store, Starbucks brand, whatever. So good. I bought this last year and got hooked on it. It's so yummy. Just put it over some ice and it's delicious. They also have them in peppermint mocha, which mint chocolate is not my favorite, but I know obviously lots of people love it. It's obviously a huge thing. So if you like that, definitely check that out too. Um, so this is easy. You could just have it and you know, you know. What else, you guys? So yeah, if you're, this is, okay, I do not have everything like picture perfect. Not everything is like it to the nines exactly like I want it yet. I've still got, I don't think I'm gonna move my little blue and white stuff during Christmas, which is very much like anything that I have like in my kitchen. Just little things here and there is like blue and white stuff. And I am sure that before Christmas comes, I will, rearrange everything a million times that's how I am um, but I really like this this is usually right in the middle in between the lights that's really cute I'll show that in the video in the decor video like I said um, much more like detail on the decor stuff Olivia wants to show me something Hold on. but yeah I wanted I just thought during that video of my home tour which is the only one that I had intended doing that revolved around this type of stuff I knew that I would be stopping a million times talking about, oh, this candle smells like that. Well, let me tell you about this ribbon tip. Let me tell you about this and that. And I just thought it would be good to do a video where I could just explain to you guys some things that just, you know, create that feeling of Christmas or create like a tradition for yourself, a candle that you like to light every year, just something that makes your home feel more homey without feeling like you have to like deck it to the nines. And I didn't want to like post my holiday tour and be like, here's what you gotta do, you know, and I don't think it's perfect, I, I definitely am not, I'm a very, like, anti-perfection blogger and YouTuber, whatever you want to call me, I think that a lot of things are unrealistic, I think that it may, I get very uncomfortable when I see a lot of posts that I'm just like, you're not really doing that, like, you don't really, you know what I'm saying? And I just want to always keep it real with you guys. And I want you guys to always feel good when you watch my videos and think that, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm just your friend, you know. And I just want you guys to, um, I don't know, just to, to get genuine um, vibes and recommendations that I love. So I just love sharing stuff with you guys. Um, I hope that you guys will check out some of these candles. I would say definitely if you're only going to pick up a few Try the Nest Holiday Candle. It's my favorite. Like I said, just these things are so simple. And don't be like, oh, I want to know more about like how you style stuff. You're going to get that in that decor video. And it may be three hours long. 
I'm just saying. Um, the Evergreen, try that. Look how beautiful, you guys. Like, I just, I love this. And when it's burning, it just, that looks so pretty. How I've got it in my foyer, so pretty. I sit up here. Oh, oh my gosh, I totally, I should have sat up here during the video. No, I shouldn't have. It's a bad idea. What are you seeing? Okay, yeah, this was a bad idea. This is not um, flattering in any way. But I am a little closer, which I like. The lighting is so weird in here. I have this ring light on. I mean, the lighting is so bright and good in the kitchen, but just in the video, I just don't even know. Maybe I should skip the ring light altogether. Who knows? If you are going to pick up one of these Magnolia candles, grab the sugared birch. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. It has a very faint, sweet pine natural smell. This one smells real and it's not overpowering, and sometimes that's what I like. Try my hot apple cider. I will link to the one that I love, because there are different ones, I think. I don't know, that's the only one that exists to me. If you want a wood fire candle, try the photo bob I diptyque, you cannot go wrong. So I think between those three, you've got it covered. Now I love all those other ones, but I truly think that the only, I don't wanna say the only three you would need, you don't need any of these. Go to the dang like drugstore and pick you up a Glade candle, like I don't know, just one that smells like pine or something. But these are the ones that I love. If you really want like, the best. trust me, this holiday one is so good. The one called Holiday. The white, see how beautiful that is? Like the white burn candles, stop. It just looks like I'm on the surface of the sun if I get any closer. The evergreen um, with the marble top. You Seriously, you'd be like, you've been doing videos for 10 years, like what are you doing? Like, No, I've never filmed in here before, come me a break. Or like this. I would've been better off doing my dang vlog camera, like I used to do. Um, Cause I have done that in here. The photo bra. Wood fire scent, get the photo bra. De, de bois. The Nest one is good. It does smell a little dirty, but I like it. But yeah, Oda Bois Evergreen in this container and the Holiday. If you're just starting out, you're just starting out with a Christmas tree, you don't have a lot of ornaments or you just have some things that are very mismatched but you want your tree to look cohesive, grab a spool of ribbon. I'll talk about that a little more in the video. Um, this is not like the best bow but you can make a bow yourself. It's not hard. I looked up a YouTube video on that, so if I did it, I would literally just be telling you exactly what this chick did, and mine is not as good as hers, so I will link to you the video because I'm not gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing when I just watched this woman's video, and mine is not even good. I mean, it's kinda good. I was gonna put this on a, I didn't even, whatever. But yeah, you can do that. And then shove the ribbon all in your tree. Crinkle it up. Don't just like wrap it around straight. I'll show you what I did with mine. Okay, but that is for the next video. We have Thanksgiving to prepare for you guys. It is dark. It is, it's 613. It feels like it's dang like 1030 at night. It is 613 right now. It's crazy. Um, so I'm about to make dinner. I'm going to, um, Brad and Olivia are upstairs and she's like, what's mommy doing? What? She'd literally be like, bouncing all over if she was down here while I was filming this. Okay, you guys, so thank you guys for joining me in my kitchen. This is where I am most of the time. Right here at this island, it's where I am. Um, I will show you guys more of the kitchen and more of the house and stuff in that holiday home tour that is coming up next. Again, it probably won't be till like, it'll be my Monday video, Monday or Tuesday, if I can get it up, hopefully on Monday, maybe on Tuesday. Um, but anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun sharing with you guys some of my favorite little things that can make your home feel extra special for the holidays. So thank you guys so much. Love y'all so much for watching and for all of your support and love. And I will see you very soon. Happy, happy Thanksgiving, you guys. See you later.